Hi there, my name is Mark Hooper and I'm talking today about my paper um, testing topical products specifically to reduce inflammatory pain from gout, transdermal NSAID delivery and monosodium urate solubility. So the aim of this paper is to look into the effect, effectiveness of various commercial and newly developed um, products that are used through the skin or on the skin to deliver non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, so those are NSAIDs, um, and those are used to treat gout or to treat general inflammation, and gout is a disease that has a significant amount of inflammation associated with it. The second part of the study is to look at how those commercial products and the three new developed products uh, affect the solubility of monosodium urate, which is the crystal that causes gout, um, in situ, so in a media that imitates what would be similar to the synovial fluid or the blood in a human patient. And the final factor to look at was whether sodium has an effect uh, on the solubility of monosodium urate or MSU. So the experiments we carried out were using fan cells and pig skin. These are uh, lab-based imitations of human skin and the joints and we used phosphate buffered saline as an imitation of human body fluids. A quick summary of the results was that we saw a wide variation of how much drug was delivered from the different formulations and products, with the best at delivering um, ibuprofen products delivering five times more ibuprofen through the skin than the worst ones, and the best performing diclofenac products delivered three and a half times more drug than the worst. Um, we also saw that the um, and that the gout buster products, which are the newly developed products, um, increased the solubility of monosodium urate in our studies in the media by a factor of about 20 to 25 percent, whereas all the commercially available products had very little or no effect on the solubility of monosodium urate. The best performing delivery of drugs was also with the gout buster products being that they delivered more diclofenac and more ibuprofen than the commercial products. So the conclusion of the study was that the gout buster products are um, optimal for delivering more uh, NSAID drugs and uh, also in increasing the monosodium urate. Both of these will help with the treatment of gout because the more ib um, ibuprofen or diclofenac you can deliver, the better the anti-inflammatory effect. Final conclusion was that Delivering sodium was a bad idea because that actually decreases the um, monosodium urate solubility which could actually cause more crystals to precipitate. Thank you.